Welcome to Focus Out and About, the program where we talk to people about a variety of topics. This episode is all about Titchfield Haven National Nature Reserve. We spoke to Ranger Susan Spateri and first asked her what wildlife visitors can expect to see. The majority of the wildlife that's based here is um, bird life. Uh, that's what most people come and see here. Um, the birds actually change throughout the seasons. Um, over the winter, we have overwintering wildfowl, um, including widgeon, teal, and uh, black-tailed godwits here. In the spring, we've got quite a few different breeding birds, common tern, Mediterranean gull, and avocet, along with the wetland breeding birds, such as bearded tits. In the autumn, it's an important stopover point for migrating birds because of the variety of habitat and the water here. We've got a lot of warblers and swallows coming through that use it as a, a stopover point when they're migrating. We try not to manage for one particular species because then that may not be right for another species. So if we just say manage it as a whole um, and then we tend to find that the wildlife just comes here. We obviously have certain jobs that we do at certain times of year. Uh, coming up now into autumn and winter, we have a lot of scrub clearance that we do and we plan to work um, on each of our sites a certain amount of time so that we uh, could get all the work done on those sites. Um, in the Coming up to spring, we have to um, get all the fields ready, ready for cattle coming in. All the fences have to be checked before the cattle arrive on site. Uh, and then we have many miles of footpath that we manage. So, and then once the growing season comes in, spring and summer, we have to be able to go out and cut all the vegetation back along the footpaths. We tend to plan a few weeks in advance so that we know what the work parties are going to be doing, so we know um, where we've got larger, bigger jobs that we need help with, more people, or the jobs that we don't need so many people to help with, and we can just deal with the, the rangers. Um, so we just plan ahead, making sure that we've got all the scrub clearance that needs doing. We've got a certain amount of stuff that we have to do uh, to, com um, to comply with uh, grant um, applications. We have to do a certain amount of work, so we have to plan ahead to make sure we've done that work. Um, so, um, and then we say in the spring and summer we've got uh, fencing and footpath clearance that we do. As well as the actual reserve, we've got um, eight hides where you can go and watch the wildlife and there's uh, all accessible uh, paths around the whole of the reserve. And we've got stuff for families as well. We've got fairy doors that you can come find. We've got a sculpted um, badger and an owl along the um, visitor route as well that you can go and find. Uh, we've got a beautiful tea room where you can sit and relax and enjoy some cake and some coffee. Um, we're going for a walk in the local area. Um, there's information in the visitor centre so you can go and find out all about the local area and enjoy the um, countryside beyond the reserve. We have quite a variety of different events to suit different people. We're from bird ringing very early in the morning, autumn bird watch which starts quite early in the morning along with mammal walks for families. Um, we have London camera exchange that come here um, with a hide with a guide so that you can go in the hides and have a bit of extra information about what you're looking at within the hides, you don't have to be an expert. Um, we also have events um, such as pond dipping um, for children in the um, school holidays. We've got a wildflower walk that we have um, in the spring. Thank you.